All right, guys, what's up? With the lower Colorado River again. Went to a new spot today. We're gonna try to get some smallies on some glides. Other type of swim baits. Water temp is 70, 71 degrees. And we're gonna get getting. Oh, I just saw a boil. All right, let's do this. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah, I've seen them do that. It's just not something I do often. And, you know, when I'm out here, usually when I'm catching smallies, they're not on swim baits and stuff. So I have caught a few, but that's why today's goal. How did that happen? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, that's the one I was swiping at Mark. Yes! Oh. Mark them. Yep. Want the net? Nah. All right, let's see. All right, right there on the glideway. You know what that is? That's a no skunk. Whoo, not the one I'm looking for. I want a smallie like that, but we'll take him right on. Whoo, God, I wish, I wish the bass were as aggressive at home as they are here. God, you know what I mean? It's like, almost drives me crazy. Oh, good smallie. Good smallie. You want net? No, he's not that big. I thought he was bigger. He looks bigger when he gets out. Look at that sucker. Oh, what's that? That's what I was looking for. Yeah. I haven't thrown this. This is what I want to throw. Let's see what happens. BLT. No. Yeah, he's a good one. All right, I know what I'm throwing. Oh, dude, that's a good one, bro. That's what we're going to be getting all day today. Oh, I forgot. BLT. Baby line through. Got the positive hook with the treble. These smallmouth, they like to shake off, so. It's what we should be getting all day. That's why I was wondering why I wasn't getting. I, that's why I was wondering I wasn't getting bit, and then the BLTs brought it to me. So I was I was testing this for the tournament this weekend because the big ones tend to hit shit like this. The small ones they hit it too, but you'll get more quality on it. It's bigger for a small mouth, you know. Oh yeah, I get. I like inside points pockets on the river, like right there. That's normally where I get hammered. Oh, right there? yes. Ah. No, inside pocket of a. Uh... Oh, oh, here, look, 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 they're all here. Oh, oh. Wait, I guess... oh what the fuck do I do? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think mine's strong enough. My other one wasn't. Oh, I didn't take a picture. Like, hold it up to the camera. So this is the rig I'm throwing. The BLT, I use quite a bit out here because of the trebles with the small mount. But the BLT likes to rise up, kind of like a cheater. And uh, these small mounts are set up a little lower. So what I do is take a, a stopper. And right now I think I'm throwing a 3 16 on the nose of it. And it keeps it down. Keeps it down in that water column right where the smallies are. And get more bites. Like that. Oh! Yep. Right there. On the glideway again. Small mouth on the glideway. Woo! All right, let me get situated. All right, so what we're doing, we're drifting down the riprap walls, throwing our baits kind of up under bushes and this and that. That one actually reacted and came out and ate it. Um, we're actually heading down south where there's some docks and 
that's where Dave was doing good the other day on a glide. So we're gonna see. Oh, oh, Dave's getting him on the BLT. I'm getting him on the glideway. All right, let's keep getting him. Woo! You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna try that clickbait again real quick. See if I can stick one on this deep rocky stuff. All right, so a little change of plans. We came quite a ways up river. They're putting in water, so the fish kind of backed off down there because the current wasn't there yet, and we knew up above. Yeah, it's definitely flowing up here. Yeah. It was going to be more current. We need the current for these smallies. Big time. I mean, there's tons of shit in the water. That's your first fucking sign. But that's what I was saying though. Oh, oh, good one. Yep. Double hookup. Oh. Ooh, I broke off. No. No. Are you fucking serious? Right there. Smalley on the clickbait. He smacked it like three times. Ooh, we're too close. Mm. Got one. Glide away. Yep. That's a good one too, dude. Yep. I agree. I just had like three follows just now. Look it, look it, look it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. On the glad way. Oh, Heck yeah. Large mouth hit is so different. Oh, just the way he came up and ate it was so cool though. They just commit. Pretty fish. Yeah. They go. So what we're doing is we're fishing in the main current on the river. As you can see, it's flowing pretty good. The Glideway is a glide bait that handles current no problem. That's why we're primarily throwing the Glideway. And it's definitely been productive for us. We've had, I don't know, probably at least eight swim bait fish between the both of us. More than that, because I think I have five. That's what I was saying. So, yeah, probably 10 maybe. I don't know. Yeah, but the glide weight, the way it handles in the current, um, that is a key factor. We're using both the weights. We're using 15 pound fluoro. We're using a Irod Bailey's Corcus. And I'm fishing a 6.3 to 1. So, are you throwing it? You're fishing it slow, huh? Yep. Yeah. I noticed, I noticed as soon as I slowed my shit down and stopped getting all, like, twitchy, it worked better. It's amazing, though. Like, I, I wish people could understand how well this bait handles current. I mean, I haven't been fishing glides long enough, but the first time I saw it, I knew, like... What's the shape of it with the, the thicker belly? That and just the first time I saw it swim, I was like, oh, it's gonna handle current. Which is surprising. This is what we've been looking for. Try moving out a little bit. You're gonna try that crank down and see something. You know what I mean? There you go. Yep. Yeah. Just like you said, clickbait's gonna work. Oh yeah. I have no doubt in my head. I just don't want to dig out of the rod. Alright, right there in the clickbait. Crank down. This little thing's pretty dope, huh?
That's why. It, oh, I did. Is that the one? So that's on your crankbait, huh? Yep. That's why I wanted to switch real quick, just to see. So what I did, I was noticing we weren't getting quite the reaction in the same areas that we were getting the reaction on glide baits. So I kind of wanted to see something. So I wanted to fish a crank down. So I grabbed my little clickbait, stuck two, two fish and two casts. So it's just telling me that those fish are sitting maybe a little bit deeper on that edge where the glide bait's not quite getting down deep enough. Cause right now we're sitting in 13 feet and I bet those fish are sitting right. You can see the riprap wall right at the bottom of it where it hits. There's a little bit of grass line here and there. They're probably sitting in that. Look at, look at, look at. Oh, come on, that's, that's a, a large one. That's a good one. Yes, it is. You want the net? I don't think so. Decent. <laughs> yeah. How's that one? Dude, that's a five all day long. Ah, oh, look at that. On the glideway. All right, guys, so all in all, I'm going with uh, a successful day. We had a great time. We caught a lot of swim bait fish. Uh, I'd have to say our biggest smallies were about three and a half, right in that area. So, fun day on the glideway. And like I said, we're fishing that glideway in the current and is one of the really good ones that I've used in heavy flow used it literally in some heavy flow and caught stripers and everything else with it so um thank you guys for watching like subscribe and i'll see you next time boom when your bones become frail life is stagnant and stale but don't throw it away you'll miss it okay fuck yeah fuck yeah fuck yeah uh -huh. and i go watch the fucks he's all sorry 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 <laughs> Oh, it's on video. <laughs> oh, yeah, I miss him. <laughs>